Hey, what's going on guys, Pog here, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode number 31, and let's get on with the shoutout for today. So the shoutout for this episode goes to Matthew Plays 2837 who went down and left a comment saying, Can I have a shoutout? Been watching your other series since episode 1. I have asked in episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay, all the way to 26. Technically to the 30, because he left this comment on the 27th. Um, so, so yeah. Um, Matthew, welcome to the beautiful world as well to the shoutout room. And at the same time, guys, I, j I just wanted, some of you guys definitely understand this, but many of you guys don't. Uh, the thing is, though, with all these shoutouts, it is very hard and competitive for me to pick the shoutouts. So most of the comments I can see, most of the comments I might not see, because I don't, I don't necessarily pick the comments from the latest episode, if that makes sense. So I, lo I look through the comments and I, I try to pick the one that I like, if that makes sense. So I like most of the comments, but then it's like some of you guys outbeat it. Am I making sense? Probably not. But then, like I always said, the best way you guys can help each other to get a shout out is leaving a like on the comments. I think I'm making sense now. But yeah, Matthew, welcome to the beautiful world as well to the shout out room. And sorry that it took you such a long time to be featured in the shout out room. So uh, in this episode, guys, I think it is finally time to clear up this world. Because right now, I have mobs all over the place. I mean, uh, it, it's just kind of crazy. I've got, uh, you know, friendly mobs, let's say. I've got like this sheep. I got the cows. I mean, the cows are doing all right. They got their own place and stuff like that. Uh, but then we have the horse and, and things like that. So right now the thing is though, I think we need to have a place for chicken, for sheep. And I want to separate the sheep so that they have their different colors, example. Oh, okay. So I guess that's the rain. Because I think the sword has the fire aspect. Yeah, okay. So I was like, why is there that noise coming out? But yeah, we've got the beautiful horse still trying to pick the name. Remember to like the comments, especially for the name so that we can actually name this beautiful horse. But yeah. Uh, so, that being said, right now we are heading to the place to grab some materials, but I'm not exactly sure where to build this with, um, I'm thinking cobblestone fences, uh, I don't really know what materials I should use, I'm, I'm thinking if I should make it similar design to the actual main Let's Play farm, where I have the horse and things like that. Uh, I don't know. The cobblestone wall looks pretty awesome, like the fences. Um, did this get re renamed or something? Because I think they used to be called, like, cobblestone fence or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but right now, uh... Oh, I got an idea. Wow, this... Oh, wow. Okay, uh... I got an idea. Amazing idea. Okay, okay. I need... I need, I need, uh, what is it called? Uh, shears. Do I have shears? Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Where is it? Uh, let's make some shears. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. Did I make three? No, okay, one. Well, well, I'll keep it in my inventory so that I can actually do it. So, starting off, I think the best way to do this is with the shear. So, I can go and shear some wool. Uh, meaning, so... Let's see, we're looking at, first of all, breeding some animals. So before I do this, actually, I, I guess I, I could do this. I could just, I'm holding the arrow in my, huh, interesting. It won't let me torch, but then it lets me do this, apparently. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shear all these mobs right now. I mean, all these sheep. And then I'm going to be using their color of wool to make each individual wool place, I guess, their their location. I think it will look very cool to have different colors because the most complaints I ever got on my main series is that everything looks gray. So I was still thinking to make it gray because I, I think gray looks nice but then I guess it does sometimes uh, overwhelm let's say like I don't know how to put it it just sometimes looks like too much gray. Uh, please don't hit the sheep. Uh, Mr. Skeleton I'll, I'll deal with you. Sit down. Thank you very much. Uh, and these are just keep going to get their wool back very quickly as you can see which is very nice so but without uh i don't know i i mean I, i'm gonna get a lot of the white one but the other colors might be a bit challenging so i think it's the best thing to do is actually to breed them right now and i think i have enough uh i mean i got i got enough wheat i guess here so i can just grab them and then breed as many 
sheep as I can. Oh no, I'm not supposed to hold that. Okay, there we go. Just gonna break only the ones that are grown. I might, I was gonna say, I might accidentally break the ones that aren't fully grown. But yeah, I think this design is gonna be very nice. And I'm keep breaking things that I'm not... Okay, you know what? I, I don't got time for this. I think the best way you can ever get rid of these stuff... Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that either. Oh, my God. I'm doing so many mistakes right now. I'm too excited. Okay, so what you need is, guys, a bucket of water. Wherever that is. Uh, this place is so unorganized right now. Okay, sand, get out of here, please. Thank you very much. I know you have your own place, but... But still, you're not supposed to be here. Okay, good news is I have hoe with me. I, I've enchanted some pickaxe, by the way. If you guys noticed, uh, I didn't really get the best except this one. Uh, but then there's uh, this guy here. Fortune 2 on breaking 3. Still pretty good. Uh, efficiency 3 on this. I don't think I ever got an efficiency for shovel yet. Uh, but yeah, so... And I enchanted this axe, which gave me all this stuff, apparently. I am keep forgetting what fortune is for, uh, for the axe, however. So I'm not being that smart with that. Uh, okay, so, uh, da, 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 okay, uh, bucket of water, let me go fix that up first of all, hi, hi sheep, uh, let me, let me deal with you as well, it's gonna be very good, thank you, alright, so, I think this is how I'm gonna do it, what is happening, uh, I thought we could, okay, there we go, kind of, I think this would be like the fastest way, at least. I think so. It's kind of working. And then it's kind of not working, maybe. Okay, you know what? I mean, it's working, but at the same time, it's kind of taking longer. And I think I destroyed some torch. Sometimes it's like it's only going well. Okay, you know what? Forget about it. I'm just gonna use my hand. I'll just break everything, I guess. Uh, I'll do it as fast as I can, but if I break the one that's not grown, whatever. Technically, using the water, I'm, I'm breaking them anyways. I'll just use this, and then... Yeah, I guess in this episode, we could just breed them, and then next episode is where we can start building them. But yeah, definitely I'm gonna need to collect a lot of materials before we actually even start building. I was thinking to use cobblestone stuff, that's why I said it in the beginning, but obviously I'm not that full of resources and it makes no sense uh, to start a project without having enough resources. But yeah, so right now what we're going to do is work our way into getting the resources that I need. I'll also work off camera, um, off recording. I don't know, it's just so weird saying it off camera because technically I'm recording the video game rather than, you know, some real life event. <laughs> Am I making sense? Probably not as usual but yeah so uh my inventory is getting full you know what maybe it's time to actually uh put these uh seeds back here and then i think that's how it would be and then i'll just take this one that was grown there's also this guy beautiful and it's not that bad, like, this farm is not that bad to, uh, plant the seeds. But yeah, doing this definitely is gonna open up some inventory space. Because, see, now I'm getting rid of these, uh, extra seeds that I have. And this one, this one. And I'm actually kind of working my way into getting fully grown wheat as well. But I think instead of um, getting those right now, I think what I should do right now is actually breed these mobs together. So starting off with, uh, you know what, just so that, do we have any yellow one? I don't think we do. So we don't have orange. Okay, we have orange. But here, so we have this orange and then red. What is it going to give? Uh, orange, nice, okay. And then we have couple blue okay so we can have yellow and blue i think it's gonna be blue i might be wrong oh okay i guess i was right okay uh then we got uh let's see 
which ones? Let's try doing uh, the black and the orange. I'm gonna say black. I don't know what it. Oh, it's orange. Nice. Okay, so we got orange. Uh, yellow. Can I? Nope, you can't. Okay. You. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna be like you and. I'm just gonna do it randomly. There's this uh, blue one here. I think this would be like the quickest way to breed them rather than being all over the place. Oh, we can also get this chickens. Except I don't really have... Okay, you know what? I do have chickens. I just have to, like, breed them. Kind of. Let me see if I can get a second one. And I can give it plenty of seeds. And then it will be a full-grown chicken. No! Come on! Really? No chicken. Great. Okay, well... You guys are being kind of helpful. Okay, you know what? I'll give you guys some time. I'm just gonna go continue uh, collecting this stuff and I guess working on the farm. How about you? Oh, there we go. Okay. I think I just broke the wrong one as usual. I'm very bad at it. Like I usually end up breaking the wrong one all the time. And there we go. These ones. I like how they're just quickly growing. I mean, wheat farm is very easy, one of the easiest source of food. You can just always make bread. Uh, but I find that having my insane cow farm ended up giving me a lot of steak. So, I feel like I'm set with steak for a very long time. So, that's good. But I still got my potatoes I can bake and then we got that all happening. And, uh, yeah, so it's it's looking all good. Obviously, I'm going to breed as many uh, sheep I can. So I'm also going to try to have too many. Well, I wonder if you can actually dye a red one a different color, like the sheep. Um, but I'll try to have more, more of these plain ones so that they're just going to be, you know, I think those are the ones you can easily dye. I don't know about the color ones. Yeah, so there's this guy. You know what? I'm just gonna collect it like this. I think I'm hearing some uh, dolphins. And I think with the farm, whenever the animal farm is done, I think that I should have two of each type of mob so that they're not really gonna affect each other. It's like the dolphins and stuff are still gonna be in the ocean, they're not gonna bring too much lag. So I'm guessing um, it'll be best to have like each of the colors to sheep. And if I'm working on a project that I need that particular color, I think that's when I can just start breeding them. Um, so that, you know, I only breed them enough when I need that specific color. Okay, this is a, a lot of wheat that I'm not collecting apparently. Um, you know what? I don't really need this bow. So I guess we could say goodbye to it. And then... We should be good. Then we got these ones. Oh yeah, we can fix this up now, finally. Because I decided to jump on it for some reason. I think sometimes I think I'm too smart. So I decided to just jump over it because I think I can somewhat not destroy it, maybe. is That might be what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know. It's like something you forget until you do it. It's like... I jump and then I realize, wait, if I if I hit the dirt, I'm going to ruin it. But it's like sometimes I forget to think ahead of time. So like I ended up uh, just jumping like this and then when I'm about to land, I'm like, oh no, that's going to ruin it. Kind of thing. Let me know guys if you sometimes do something like that. Like if you have that feeling where you accidentally jump, but then realize after that you're going to be ruining it. What, what happens if I do this? Nothing really. Uh, what happens if I do this? Will it come back and hit me? It doesn't. Hmm. Oh, it does. Wow. It kind of comes back. Will it hurt me? Nope. I don't think it did. It just like... It did nothing. Look how long it actually takes for this to come down. And... There it is. Interesting. Wow. Okay. I see how it is. 
Okay, so I'm going to grab this one, and then I think I might have uh, somewhere. I don't know. And here we are. So now it is time to go ahead and breed as many sheep as I can so that I can actually go ahead and uh, I guess hopefully start working on that project um, as early as, as I can. So there you go. Oh, there's an egg over there. I can try to hopefully uh, make turn it into a chicken. Okay, well, I guess that's normal. Where did the uh, egg go? Did I collect it? Oh, I did. Nice. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, come on. I'm having such a hard time. I need a, another chicken, and I think th that would be... That would be great. I need to sleep. Wait, did I breed these one? I am assuming I have it to this one and this one. Oh, there's more uh, sheep over here. Hello. And hello. Oh, yes. There we go. Now we are having a lot of... I think we can start with the uh, white one, then the blue one. Because those are, seems like, what we have the most. Because I think I have a lot of white wool in my chest. So, I don't know. We're going to sleep first. Oh, you might be able to enchant something. Because I'll be level 30 soon. And I guess we could work on that in the next episode. But right now, I just want to see how many wool I have. Which should be somewhere up here. I'm guessing the chest. Nope. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's not that one. It's this one. Okay, yeah, so we have uh, quite a bit of, uh, like, white one. There's a yellow, red. Okay, I don't think I have this one. I don't think I have a light blue one. Uh, so let's go ahead. And I guess I can try and see if I can dye. Uh, I have quite a bit of red one. So let's see if I can dye the red a blue. Oh, wow. Okay, that color is very nice. Okay, hello. You and you. Let's see if we can get another one of those color. And we did. Beautiful. Okay. I don't even know what's happening here. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, cow, you weren't supposed to be part of this. Okay, there we go. Uh, do I see any eggs out there? Okay, you know what? I think I have some eggs in the chest up here. I keep forgetting that the pressure plates will close that. Uh, but yeah, so eggs. I think it's here. There we go. I got like two eggs here, and I think it is now time to get rid of all this uh, sand and all this crazy stuff that I have in my inventory that I technically don't really need with me to have it with me right now. Uh, so there is that. I'm gonna keep those seeds, 64 seeds, and then I got the mob stuff, which will go over there. And uh, this looks all right, I guess. What about here? Do I have any bow that I can? connect to each other there we go okay so we're just gonna do it like this and then we can repair the bow and turn it into one beautiful and there we go i forgot to put the uh, other stuff in the farm chest such as this uh, saplings and stuff or whatnot okay i think i have a lot of torches not exactly sure but i have to also have a quite a bit of torches here somewhere uh but yeah so let's see if i can get a chicken did that one turn into a chicken? Uh, does not look like it. How about if I look around here? Because there might be a chicken here. Who knows? Oh, look at uh, the sheep going all over the place. They're just exploring. Uh, don't really see any chicken, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I definitely need... I, I need to do something about that. I, I need to have a nice chicken chicken farm as well. Maybe like four chickens because I don't know. I don't think I need too much. I think the best thing I can do is... Oh, no, never mind. The other ones will fall in it. I thought like I could get the chicken into like one place and then they will be always there so that it'll be easy to collect the eggs. Where's the chicken? Guys, I think I lost the chicken already. What is wrong with me? 
I don't understand why, but the cow is always trying to be part of this. Oh, because I'm holding a wheat. I mean, I guess I knew that. It's just... I don't know. I'm, I'm not paying attention who I'm giving it to. There we go. Hi, cow. Beautiful. There we go. And then there's this guy right here. And I guess I could turn these ones into much older by giving them some wheat. There we go. See? This is working pretty good. There we go. It's kind of working. I mean, I got quite a bit of wheat here. But uh, but I'll, I can wait for them to grow up and all that. And, and I think... Oh, there it is. Found the chicken. Okay. Chicken, come with me. I think I can just uh, take him and put him right over here. Please don't escape, cow. Come on. There we go. There you go. Okay. Now they can be over there, and anytime the chicken lays the egg, I think it will be so much easier for me to collect it. So let's breed these beautiful sheeps one more time, and then I think I should be good for, uh, for like, collecting as many type of color wool as I can. But right now, these are the ones that I'm going to have to work on, example. So there's this one here. There we go. And beautiful. Look at look at this amount of different colors of sheep over here. They look so cute. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like and also check out my POG Auto channel. And that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.